Bible that some people will ever read is your life. There's a lot of folk in church who are not lovable because they don't have enough Jesus in them. Dr. T. Delbert and First Lady Jasmine Robinson oversee as Bishop Paul S. and Dr. Deborah B. Morton from Changing Generation invites you to worship with us in person in the sanctuary or join us virtual at our new Decatur location, 4185 Snapfinger Woods Drive, Sundays at 11 a.m. and Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Or worship with us in person in the sanctuary or join us virtual from Greater St. Stephen, Sundays at 10.30 a.m. and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Central Time. One church in two states, Atlanta, CAGnow.org, and New Orleans, houseofgreater.org. Coming up on Greater Change Ministry. I need you to get in the devil's face. Stop being scared of the devil. And tell the devil and any one of his messengers that come to you asking you why you still love God. Get in his face and say, get thee behind me, Satan, for I will continue to do good because I'm waiting on my due season. I wish you get bold enough to clap your hands and say, it's on the way. Come on. I don't care how it looks. I don't care what you say. I researched the scriptures, and I know it's on the way. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. From Changing a Generation Full Gospel Baptist Church in Decatur, Georgia, and Greater St. Stephen Full Gospel Baptist Church in New Orleans, Louisiana, one church in two states, Pastored by Dr. T. Delbert Robinson, along with Elder Jasmine M. Robinson, and Overseers Bishop Paul S. Morton and Dr. Deborah B. Morton, welcomes you to the Greater Change Outreach Ministry. Now, prepare for a life-changing experience. Well, God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Greater Change Telecast. Today, I'm your lone exclusive host, Dr. T. Delbert Robinson. Let me tell you, we have been experiencing some phenomenal moments in God. And what we're bringing to you today, I'm telling you, it's going to be a great, great moment. In fact, you may want to text somebody right now. I mean, text them while I'm talking because we're getting ready to go in and hear a word from our spiritual mother, Dr. Deborah B. Morton. She preached a series entitled Lights, Camera, Action. And today she's in doing an installation from it. I love it called A Second Wind. Go ahead, text somebody, let them know. Pastor D is about to preach the word of the Lord, and I'll be back right after this. Keep it locked right here. St. Jude, rather Jude, the first chapter and the 20th verse reads, But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. One more time, but ye, beloved, Building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. The word of the Lord is blessed. It shall do its works. I want to speak to you from my series, Lights, Camera, Action. But today the word is action, colon, a second wind. Can you say that action, colon, a second wind? Win. Thank you so much, our precious ushers. You may be seated. Now, what is a second win? Glad you asked. It is a return of strength or energy that makes it possible to continue in an activity or 
to start again. A return of strength and energy, either to keep going or to start all over again. Because the truth of the matter, some people have come to a screeching halt. But I'm here to encourage you today. What and how do we get a second wind? Well, the first thing that God gave me was we must re-research the scriptures. Can you say that? Re-research the scriptures. Listen, John 5 and 39 says, search the scriptures for in them ye think ye have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. As we research the scriptures, it points us, friends and family, back to the Son of God, our Savior Jesus. And it is, though, when we leave our B-I-B-L-E, in case you don't know that spells Bible, and go to meditate on TikTok, IG, and Facebook, we can get wrongly influenced, weak, angry, or hurt. Are y'all with me today? But when we get bored or weary with this life, if we would just go back to the scriptures, the word of God, how many know it will give us reminders that illuminate and elevate our minds and our spirits to give us a new and godly perspective. Touch your neighbor and say, go re-research the scriptures. Yes, the psalmist blessed me to confirm what God was saying in the New Living Translation. Psalms 119.52 says, I meditate on your age-old regulations. Oh, Lord, they comfort me. Then 119 and 55 says, I reflect at night on who you are, oh, Lord. Therefore, I obey your instructions. How many know just a little talk with Jesus, just a little reading of his word will make it all right? Clap your hands and say, I'm going to re-research the scriptures. Make it in one of my main sources of strength. Because as the psalmist said, they will comfort us and strengthen us. You can't just read it in the morning with all this hell around us. We need to read it in the morning. Come on. The old folks say read it in the noonday and read it in the midnight hour. Re-research the scripture to get my second win. The second thing that God gave me was continue doing what is good. Can you say that? Continue doing what is good. Part A of Galatians 6 and 9 says, and let us not be weary in well-doing. If you look at it in the New Living Translation, listen to what it says. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. To get our second win, we must also continue to do the right thing. Look at somebody say, do the right thing, honey. Yes, yes, Spike Lee said it, but I'm telling you, do the right thing. In certain areas of life, of our lives, when we've been in warfare against the evils of this word and people, we can become weak and forsake a requirement that's given to us by God, which is to do good. Remember, when we do good, men see the good works and then glorify the Father, which is in heaven. It ain't no doubt about who we got our strength from. We say which is in heaven because they got a lot of little gods out here, but we want to give glory to God. However, the truth is we give glory to God and we try to continue in good works, but we get tired of seeking peace and holding our peace, turning the other cheek. Tired of working while others are taking it easy. Tired of sacrificing time and money to the kingdom and especially among family when you're the only one making the sacrifice. Can I get a witness? We get tired. Somebody say we get tired. However, you need a second wind to do good lest you leave some blessings on God's table. It's got your name on it. This brings me to the next because... We slow down. Y'all ain't saying nothing. We've slowed down. But those who kept running and walking, they understand probably what I'm about to say because 
The very reason that the Lord woke me up and said, y'all need a second wind is the point I'm getting ready to share with you. Because second wind requires something to get us through all the other points that I made. And it is supernatural prayer. Clap your hands for supernatural prayer. In other words, to keep going, God revealed to me that we not only need natural prayer with understanding, but most importantly, we need to pray supernatural prayers. Supernatural prayer, understand, is what builds our faith. I said supernatural prayer builds our faith. You see, natural prayer, when we go to God, most time in our understanding, with our regular tongue, we go to God and we are either thanking him for something or asking him for something. Clap your hands if you know I'm right. But supernatural prayer is when we go to God in prayer, praying in our heavenly language to God, Many times without understanding or interpretation. Somebody say, "Uh uh-huh, I get it. It is actually the Holy Spirit giving us what to say to God in a heavenly supernatural language that only God hears and understands. Say, "Uh uh-huh. Uh huh. But when we pray supernatural prayers, it gives us the ability to receive faith supernaturally. Oh, I said a mouthful right there. Listen, when I'm praying in the natural, I know what I'm asking for. I understand what I'm asking for. But God gave us something that will get us out of our flesh. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And get us out of our emotion. And I don't even know what I'm saying. I just submit to the spirit that's in me. And I begin to pray in a supernatural. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what God is saying. But all I know, if I pray... It gives me the ability to receive more faith supernaturally. Look at your neighbor and say, don't ask me how it happens. Come on, say, don't ask me how it happens. When I pray in the spirit, my understanding is unfruitful, says the scripture. But I pray and I get action. Somebody say action. Come on, God will move by his spirit and give us what we need I'm talking about exactly what we need before we even ask. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I told you something. I need you to clap your hands and praise him and say, I need some supernatural faith. Supernatural faith that comes from nowhere. That last thing should have killed you. I wish I had one person. That last situation should have broke you down. But when you went into your secret closet, oh, I feel God up in here and begin to talk to him in the English. And then you went into another realm. God came and kicked the door down. Y'all ain't saying that. Open up the door. Sat on your boss and told him what to do. Told your neighbor to leave you alone. Somebody say, that's when I get action. God said to me, it's a tool I gave you to win. It's a tool I gave you. Come on, somebody, for a second win. Ah, remember, per the scriptures, we can't move God. He said it's actually impossible to please him if we don't. Come on, do it in faith. So let me hurry home with this. So faith supernatural faith will do two things for us. Uh, But we must understand why this is a necessary tool. Help me, Holy Ghost. It is because, number one, we should not be shocked or surprised when our faith dwindles. Why? Because we are not 100% spirit. Lift your hand and say, Lord, that's what I thank you. 
Come on, say, I, I didn't know that I was dumb. Lift your hands. Some of y'all think you're super spiritual, but you live in a body. You have a mind that encases the spirit. Oh, I'm talking right today. So if we're not 100% spirit, it is possible to lose some of our faith and our trust at times. You see, when fear and anger and disappointment and even discouragement enters our hearts, they pour water on our spirit. That water can zap our power, our strength, and our energy for God. Uh, it'll zap your focus. Where you know where you should be, but you just can't focus. But God said, that's why I gave you a solution. He said, I want you to build it back up. Come on, look at somebody and say, build it back up. If your spirit is torn down, come on, if your morale is down, if, if you're not feeling like I can run for Jesus all day long, I want you to understand. He said, I gave you this tool of supernatural prayer so that you can not beat up yourself, but build up yourself. Somebody give praise him right now. Come on, praise him. Don't worry about your neighbor this time. Say, I'm going to build up myself, not beat up myself. So our heavenly prayer language is so important. This is what God told me. It's our remedy for our faith breakdowns. Glory to God. With it, we can do all things required for our second win. To keep running for Jesus. So when time gets tough, times get tough, we need the supernatural prayer for the supernatural faith. Yes. When, when the doctor say it's going to kill you, there you are with something crazy faith saying not so. Yes. When they say you'll never close on your loan because interest rates is high, uh, high, then you can look at the devil and you look at your bank account and you look at the devil and say not so. Somebody say crazy faith. In order to go to a new high in God, since we've all been through, this supernatural prayer will help us to search the scriptures and not just think we have eternal life, but know without a doubt that we have it. And not only do we have the heaven waiting for us, but God said, I'll give you heaven right here on earth. Clap your hands and praise him. How many know you can live the good life right down here? Yeah. Secondly, crazy faith. We need that supernatural prayer for that crazy faith to keep doing good deeds. Right? Because knowing without a doubt, you can't make me mad enough to do the wrong thing. You can't attempt me long enough to make me not do right. Know why? Because I know no matter what it looks like. Come on, somebody. I don't need alcohol to drown in. I don't need drugs. All I need was the word of God. They that wait upon me. Y'all help me, somebody. Shall renew their strength. So I need that supernatural strength to do the right thing. Because it is faith, remember, that we do all of these. And supernatural strength builds what? Faith. And so to trust God when I'm in a low place is the third reason, again, that I can trust him and I can be high again like an eagle. I might be coming down a little bit, but never fainting. Never down to zero. Come on, somebody. How many of y'all felt you were on your last leg, but because of supernatural faith? Uh, come on, you're still walking. High five somebody say, I'm still walking. They tried to knock me down with their rumors. They tried to kill me with their lies, but I'm still here. And I'm looking good. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Look at your neighbor and say, you don't look like what you've been through, child. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So now, because I got my supernatural prayer and my faith that comes supernaturally. 
I'm back on top. You'll be back on top before you know it. And here's how I want to close it. Jude 1 and 20 says, as you build yourself up in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, look what you'll be able to do. Jude 21 to 23 says, keep, you'll keep yourselves in the love of God. Yeah. Come on, somebody. They can't shake you. Why are you still going to Greater St. Stevenson? <laughs> Honey, I'm going to worship because I love Almighty God. Y'all ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Look what it says. It'll keep you waiting expectantly. Verse 21 of 1 Jude. For the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ for eternal life. And the devil won't be able to shake you. Jude 1 and 22 says, watch this. This is that faith. You'll be able to have mercy on those who waver. Ooh, that's so good. We won't be so critical. Come on. Because we'll remember that we almost slipped. Y'all, good God Almighty. But the spiritual supernatural prayer got me where I needed to be. And you know what that is? If he did it for me and lifted me up, uh, if they waver, they're able to come back in the name of Jesus. Then it says in the 23rd verse, I love this. He said, you will be running, you will have action. He said, your supernatural faith will kick in. And Jude 23 said, you will save others. By snatching them from the fire. I wish I had somebody to feel this like I feel it. You'll have mercy on others. But with fear. Or I might come and work and, 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 and minister to you. But I won't become you. Because it says. Hating even the garment defiled by the flesh. Glory to God. We'll see people in sin. But when I go to the club, I went to the club the other week. Come on, and got a soul in Atlanta. That's what I did. Say, yes, she did. Because they had a fish sandwich over there. Come on, somebody. But I didn't become the sin. I wish somebody were praising. How many know I can go in the crack neighborhood, but I don't do crack? I can go into the bar. Y'all ain't saying that, but I'm not a bar stew woman. I can go around the poles, but I'll never get on a pole. Say, I know who I am in Christ Jesus. Because I researched the scripture. I researched the scripture. And it told me that I was fearfully and wonderfully made. Y'all ain't liking me. It told me that I can live a righteous life and still minister to, to sinners. So here we are. I need y'all to do something for me. I need you to give a benediction. I need you to close it out on the devil. Come on, somebody, and help me now. Look at the devil and say, I'm back. And then shut him down with this benediction. Come on with me now. Jude 1 and 24. It says, now to him. I wish somebody to stand up in the devil's face. I said, now to him who is able. I need you to get a bold spirit. Come on, wave your hand and say, I got my second wind right. Now to him who is able to protect me from stumbling and to make me stand in the presence of his glory without blemish and with great joy. 25 says to the only God to the only God I don't care who's in the White House to the only God my Savior through Jesus Christ our Lord be glory be majesty be power be authority before all time now forevermore. I need somebody to jump up uh, and praise God and say, that's it. Uh, I'm back. Say, that's it. Uh, I'm back. I've got my second wind. Praise him. Can somebody praise him? Praise him for new strength. Praise him for new energy. 
Praise Him for new peace. Praise Him for patience. Praise Him for good works. And praise Him for the Holy Ghost. Clap your hands and say, Holy Ghost, take full control. You're already in me. I submit. I submit. Take over. Lead me. Guide me. Direct me. Comfort me. And I know that I know I'm back to action. Action, action, high five three people and say action. Come on, all over the building. Action, if God didn't kill me in the COVID, he sure won't kill me. If God didn't kill me, if Satan couldn't take me out, look at somebody say you sure won't. My goodness, I'm telling you, I don't know about you, but I've got my second win. I know the year. This has been such an eventful year already. 2023, it started off in a crazy way, and some of you may be out of breath, but get your second win. Because when those lights, the cameras, and the action starts hitting your life, you got to be ready to make the journey. I want to pray with you and pray for you right now. Somebody that's watching me, as I've already said, you may be winded already, but the wind of God is here to give you your breath back. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my sister. I thank you for my brother. And I pray now that you will be strength for them. Father, I thank you that the race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but to the one who has the wind enough to endure to the end. We give you praise for it now. By the strong name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Listen, beloved, there's a telephone number on the screen. I have operators on standby. I have a team that's waiting for you. You can call in right now. If you need prayer, we are here for you. And I know you've been blessed by this word. Well, as I always say, we are never out of talk about text, nor are we ever out of text to talk about, but we are out of time. So until this time next week, in the meantime and in between time, as I tell you, do everything in your power to make it a greater change. Bye for now. Next week on Greater Change Ministries. And, and the, the, the question becomes, for the well-intending believer that you're trying to serve the Lord with gladness and love on God with all that you know how, what encouragement can the word of the Lord give to us? Prophet, what can you say to us in this time? And I want to let those of you know that in times of like these, like never before, you're going to need the word of the Lord. Oh, my.